Welcome to the show live from Hornet Stadium where after 45 years, James Crenshaw, the, the principal of Cloud Love High School, is going to be doing his graduation from Hornet, from Hornet Stadium. For years, I mean, when I was doing graduation, it was at, it was at American Banks, but now they switched up because of the COVID-19. We'll talk, we'll get, to, in a, we'll get more into that in in the, after the broadcast, but right now the only reason we're, we're on the show is because to give you some topics, like, let's give you the latest of the coronavirus situation as of, as of yesterday. Sorry for your noise in the background. For Charbon Lady, for, we have no new case for Charbon Lady. One's under investigation of total 286 cases by gender, males 165 for 58% females 121, females 121 cases 42%, total 286, 100%. So, so for, uh, so for all reasons, if you have us, if you have all for all reasons, make sure when you go out, you wear a, you wear a mask at all times because to prevent safety. And make sure that you keep a six foot distance, like me and him. If you point the camera, if you point the camera to me and him, you'll see what happens. Six feet distance. That's the list on the coronavirus. Now, as you know, we mean I, on my show, I focus a lot on education, seriously, because education is really, really important in our system. And if for some reason we don't get an education back on the map, what we have to do is make sure that uh I lost for words here. There are reasons why like, students get expelled from school for lots of reasons, for weapons and stuff. I mean being expelled because of well they mean I mean following the related death of uh, George Floyd, I mean many people have gone on social media voicing their concerns and stuff like uh like in this example of Georgia, I mean, this Georgia college student was expelled for a racial slur on a Facebook post. It says in part, some people don't think it's it's okay for blank to blank and kneel during the national anthem. It's okay to kneel for someone's head. Come at me, y'all. I mean, this is a racial slur. In my show, I don't call it a racial slur, but this is really important because I don't know. But you should not be posting stuff on social media because if because if it's a serious issue here, I mean, let me tell you something. I do not tolerate this kind of crap here. When I see a uh, post on social media like this, it just makes me sick, sick to my stomach. I mean, I work part time. I mean, when I see stuff like this, it just makes me want to hurl. There was another post from uh from Aaron Corpus Christi at Sydney High School where his the student's father is the principal and he apologized in a letter and a statement. They were not common, but. But with everything that has happened so far, I mean, George Floyd's death, I mean, every single, if you look on social media posts, you just figure something out. I mean, just uh, just imagine the fact you're a student and you're posting something on social media like that. And then uh, you go call, call in a principal's office, you're expelled for that, suspended. <sighs> I mean, it's just making me sick because I watch the news a lot. I mean, I don't know how uh, you feel about this, but uh, I mean, Racial slurs to say, okay, don't talk about here. I mean, I mean, weapons school, we talked about this a lot on the show, bringing weapons school. It is a no no situation. That's why parents to give it school districts have a zero tolerance policy for this kind of issue. I mean, we we as adults have to make sure that our, our kids get the best education they can get by going to a, a good school district like here in Fire Bluff. I mean, if you. Uh, if you're here in Florida, you need to make sure that this is a good place for you to be in school so that you can get the best education, like, like what's happening here in Florida Bluff. Like in an example, from like years ago, there was a, a Christian student who was suspended for bringing a knife to school. There was two knives found in the bag. The parents said they, they disagreed with it. The son was expelled and he was not identified because he was a juvenile. And on my show, I don't talk about juveniles. I mean... Just make sure that one thing you want me to go to school to say you the best education, get yourself the best education you can get. I mean, this is always why I created the show, it's always why I don't call it this kind of crap anymore. And next, I'm going to talk to Dr. David Freeman, the superintendent, and see how he feels about graduation. And then, probably later, if I get permission from the other students here, I could probably talk to him about the graduate and see how it's going because the park is going to be ready here in about. 14 minutes here, I know. Everything just we can start here. So that's the plan here when we return. Welcome back to this special edition. Give me a break. Live from Flower Bluff, live from Waldron Road, where after 45 years, James Crenshaw, the principal of Flower Bluff High School, is doing graduation. So once again, if you just tune in, after 45 years since the virus, James Crenshaw, the principal of Flower Bluff High School, is doing his graduation live. 
from live from from the stadium. We'll get we'll talk about that a little in, in just a bit. Right? Well, we're, we're going to graduation a bit right now. So let's talk about parking. I mean, if you haven't seen the uh, video that uh, they posted out, I'll put the link in the description for you for you to see for yourself because we're about. Uh, we're about nine minutes away from parking or being overcrowded. So, by that being said, if you're uh, uh, if you're uh, A through uh, L, you're gonna be parking through ECC, and if you're uh, M through Z, you're gonna be parking like right in this area. So, what that means is it's gonna be like six feet. And if you will see the hard the graduation is gonna be all centered because. For some parents out there, your student is going to be your ticket to this thing. So, and when I looked at that plan earlier, like this was this was days before graduation when uh, they had the school board meeting on uh, May 28th. And uh, during this priority, during that thing, I looked at the plan and it was like we're really going to block up half of Purdue. So the other day, I was investigating my own, saying that uh, this part of Purdue, this is my street right here. If you mean park these seats right here, you go all the way to Purdue, I mean, you're blocking like half of Purdue. Baldwin is uh, Baldwin is uh, right here. So if you were to go, I mean, this is for the wall that I was that's going to be going towards the stadium. So basically, they mostly block up part of Baldwin for the parade. But sometimes it gets crowded over here because of the uh, football game and stuff. But uh, now uh, let's get to the uh, things that are not ready because uh, I mean, they're getting ready out there, man. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I mean, these are restricted items here. I mean, uh, I mean balloons are prohibited, large backpacks, I mean, firearms, knives. Of course, uh, you guys know all about this stuff. I mean, coolers, I mean, containers, cases, medical, medical stuff. Uh, noise makers like megaphones, those are strictly prohibited because there's a distraction here. You know I mean, large signs, flag, everything because it's a distraction. Pets, I guess y'all know about pets. I mean, you got a cat or a dog, hoo, hoo, hoo. I mean, uh, and uh, service animals like if you're a blind or something, yeah, that's a service animal. And uh, I guess, uh, I guess you can put it. I mean, it's, it's just no big deal. <laughs> Yeah, they probably got all the roads locked up because they're, they're trying to make this graduation as uh, good as possible for this. I mean, for we have to, for, I believe they're going to make sure that uh, police are going to make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong. We're going to have to take another break here because I want you to think about this. I mean, if you haven't, I mean, parking's gonna be ready here in about six minutes, so we're gonna take a break. So I want you thinking about this. You need to think about where you're gonna be parking for these last names. If you haven't seen that video, I will put the link in the description. By the time this video uploads, you've already known what you should be. You already know about the rules. All right, next, I might be talking to some graduates. Now, I might be talking to Dr. Freeman, and uh, as this special edition of Gary Rick continues, when we return. Welcome back to the Gimme a Break special edition live from 2020 graduation. Where, where again, James Crenshaw is doing this after 25, after 45 years here in the block. So, like we talked about, I mean, if you are, like I told you, I mean, if you, if you don't know your parking, you can watch your video, which I'll put a link in the description. And I also forgot, I also forgot to mention that uh, they're going to do a live stream of this in about in about a quarter, in about two and a quarter hours. Not like at seven o'clock, right on time, right graduation. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want to watch your graduation from home. I mean, that's the whole thing. You can just watch it anywhere, anytime. So, uh, that's basically it. I mean, on my very first show, I talked about graduation. So let's review the uh, things we should not wear. Not wear. I, mean, you should, I mean, you should always not wear shorts and flops. I mean, that's a beach thing. Just wear a nice shirt and a tie and some dress pants for work and some nice shoes. Don't wear messed up shoes like a homeless person. What I mean, let's face it, if you're a homeless person, I mean, man, I'm not going to say cool. What I've, uh, I think it was my first time graduating with the, uh, LH, 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 L
do is that uh, people have to do is make sure they know their spots and stand six feet apart. Just look like your ticket, your track is your ticket in there because if you don't know what's going on, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to do what, uh, I mean, as you can see right here, everything is just, uh, I mean, they're, they're knowing where they're going because of the graduates. So, people, most of the people being parked is towards the gym and the stadium. Most people are going into the gym and the gym. That's the entrance. I mean, this is the entrance right here if you would go towards uh, football. And uh, it's not there if you go to basketball. So, uh, that's basically the whole entrance. Like, if you go somewhere, yada, yada, yada. yada. So, well, coming up uh, to Monday on our show, we're going to be focusing in on uh, the protests that are be happening in, in the case of George Floyd. We're going to do we were going to do them today, but uh, with uh, parking and graduation, I don't think it might be much time because it's already five minutes past six, and parking is like going almost going crazy because it's because of the graduation. So, I'll have that for you on Monday, and and, and so. And uh, with all that happening, I was going to talk about the talk to the graduates, but uh, I'm fine. 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 i am fine i am fine i these graduates the best they can do. I uh, wish I could be there to uh, perform a song for them, but not right now because uh, I don't want to get in trouble for the school district. And uh, with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up for this special edition of Give Me Break Friday. We'll see you again at Give Me Break Monday at regular time, uh, 4 30, 3 30 Central. And as always, y'all, uh, that's it. Let's give me a I mean, people getting ready. Social distancing happening, and uh, that's it. Just uh, make sure you know where you're parking if you're coming over here. And uh, I hope my co anchor can uh, be scheduled here. I mean, she was going to be here, but she was scheduled because she has some job. And we're that. So that's all this dish to give me. That's all this special dish to give me break. Uh, give me break uh, Friday. We'll see you again. We'll see you again. We can bring money our regular time, and we'll talk about the uh, George Floyd protest that happened in Minnesota. and. Uh, in South Texas. Again, I want to wish the 20 graduates the uh, best wishes. Stay safe, stay hydrated, stay cool, and uh, have a good night, everyone.